We're making copycat chipotle sofritos burrito bowls. Say that five times fast. Let's go. Hey y'all, welcome to Make It Dairy Free. I am Larisha and we are going to be giving you another restaurant style meal and you are going to be shocked at how easy these Chipotle burrito bowls are. Now I know you are sitting there thinking in your head, but Larisha, we can already get vegan options at Chipotle. And guess what? You're absolutely right, but you don't have to leave the house. It's cheaper and the flavors are so much better. We have spent some time over the last few weeks creating some copycat Chipotle recipes and we are going to be showing you three different ones inside of this video. Of course, we put our own little spins on it and it makes it even more magnanimous. That's my daughter's vocabulary word of the day, so I thought I'd use it in this video. Going down the assembly line, just like you would do at Chipotle when you go in there, we are going to be showing you how to make a cilantro lime rice, we are going to be showing you how to make black beans, and then we are going to be topping all of that off by showing you how to make sofritas. Also, we aren't gonna be showing these in the videos, but on the website, we will link in the description box below, we have recipes for a copycat version of Chipotle's roasted corn salsa, as well as their version of guacamole, and don't worry, we don't charge extra for the guac recipe. You're welcome. Make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video where we'll go over a couple of frequently asked questions and I've done enough talking so let's get right into the recipe. First up is our black beans which are being made in an instapot. Start by heating oil or stock on saute and then adding onions until softened. Then garlic and your spices which are oregano, cumin, black pepper, salt, chili powder, and smoked paprika, followed by your dried black beans. No need to soak your beans ahead of time when using an instapot but you will if you follow the stovetop instructions on the site. Then in with your veggie stock. Give this a stir around and really make sure that your spices are incorporated and add the bay leaf. Then add your lid, seal it, and you're going to let it cook on manual for 45 minutes. Once your timer is done and you have released your pressure, you're going to give it a big stir together. You want to combine all the juices together with the beans on top, remove your bay leaf, and that's it. That's how easy it is to make Instapot vegan black beans from scratch. So the first thing that we're doing is adding our rice to our pot over medium heat and we're going to toast it by stirring constantly for a few minutes until it begins to turn brown in color. Then add in pepper, salt, and bay leaves and give that a stir around. Then we are adding vegetable stock. We prefer a low sodium stock if possible. Stock helps add in more flavor than just water would do. Give this a stir to combine. Once combined, you are going to add your lid, wait for it to start boiling, and then reduce your heat to simmer until it is cooked through. Once done, remove it from heat, let it sit for 10 minutes before removing the lid, and then take your lid off, discard the bay leaf. Then you are going to zest in some lime, add in lemon and lime juices, and some chopped fresh cilantro. Then using a fork, fluff up your rice and stir to combine all this very well. And then this is done. One quick tip is that you can start to press your tofu when making the black beans so it's ready. Into a blender, add adobo chilies and sauce, veggie stock, tomato puree, maple syrup, garlic cloves, and then we're going to add in our spices, which are salt, oregano, cumin, chili powder, and smoked paprika. Finally, we're adding in some fresh squeezed lime juice. Once you have all your ingredients, you're going to blend until very well combined and smooth. It may take a few minutes depending on your blender. Set your sauce aside and then you're going to break up your tofu. You can leave big chunks to break apart in your pan or crumble more and you can also do this directly in the pan if you prefer. Inside a skillet, we heated oil over medium and added in chopped onions and the tofu pieces. Stirred it well together and then let this cook for two minutes at a time without touching for a total of eight minutes in order to get a nice golden sear on the tofu, breaking up the tofu into tiny pieces as you go. Pour the sauce in that you set aside into the pan and then stir it together with your tofu pieces very well. So fritas are pretty small crumbles so keep chopping as you go or if you prefer you could totally leave the bigger pieces too. The choice is yours. You are going to let this cook for another minute or two or until the sauce has heated through and then it's time to assemble your bowls. 
This is a great way to replace DIY taco night if your family does that. Similar concept, but DIY chipotle bowls instead. We always try to layer it up just like they do at Chipotle. So first rice, then your beans, then the sofritas mix, then any toppings you want to add. We're doing fajita veggies, shredded lettuce, roasted corn salsa, regular salsa, and a big dollop of guac at no extra charge. The corn salsa and guac recipes are also on our site as well. So besides the sofritas, everything in this recipe is already top eight free, so there's very little changes that we need to make. But if you are allergic or don't do soy, we can still make this recipe and just make a little swap since we are at home. So make the sauce, still use the onions, but you can swap the tofu for something like chickpeas or mushrooms or jackfruit or even pumfu like we just did a video on. So check that out if you are allergic to soy. Good news, yes, everything in this recipe can be prepped ahead three or four days ahead of time so that it makes easy easy meals throughout the week. If you have seen some of our other videos, then you know that I am super sensitive to spice, but even I don't think that this recipe is that spicy. If you are also sensitive, then you can either reduce or omit the adobos inside of this recipe. Just make sure that if you do make the recipe as written and it is too spicy for you, then you can either add some sweetener, like a little touch of sugar, some extra lime juice, or add in some canned tomatoes inside of this recipe to reduce the spice level. All right, y'all, thanks so much for watching. We hope that you enjoyed this copycat restaurant video. Leave a comment down below and let us know what restaurant recipe you want us to do next. Have a great week.